Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the definitive modern Luminor submersible. This is the Panerai Luminor 1950 submersible three days, PAM 305. This model, new for 2009, blends several threads in Panerai history. So I want to throw a couple of dates out because this watch represents the junction of all of these building themes through the years in Panerai history. 1950, namely the 1950 case profile that you see here that came into use in the early NATO years towards the tail end of Panerai military production. 2002, that was the first year that we saw the 47 millimeter modern resurrection of that 1950 case on the legendary PAM 127 Fitty. 1998, the resurrection of a true Panerai dive watch tradition with a modern dive watch profile in the PAM 24 and 25, meeting all modern ISO standards, not just dive watches by default, but dive watches by definition. They met the standards, not vintage pieces anymore, but current rotating bezel. ISO compliant dive watches and finally 2009 that's when it all comes together that vintage case profile that 1950 47 millimeter case the modern Panerai rotating bezel dive watch tradition and this model here the titanium PAM 305 that debuted at Salon International in Geneva in 2009 and this is the definitive modern Panerai dive reference and that is because the watch big burly as it is still references the history while being thoroughly contemporary in specification, presentation, fit, and finish. Now, the highlight of this watch, of course, is that 1950 case. Because I always forget it, I'm going to do it first. Here is the wrist shot. I know I've been accused of dodging wrist shots on bigger watches lately, but there you go. There's the most famous six and a third inch wrist on earth right now. 16 centimeters for our metric folks out there. This watch wears comfortably, it wears big. It's a tool watch. In the Panerai tradition, legibility, function, versatility, you know, basically all those tool watch traits that we know and love from the mid-century heyday of the dive watch, they're here, they're present, and they're correct. And because this is an ISO 6425 compliant dive watch, you can see that all of the features you expect on something like a Rolex Sea Dweller, Submariner, on an Omega Seamaster, a Breitling Super Ocean, they're here. Now, while Panerai watches, you could say all of them are dive watches in as much as they were originally designed for combat use in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, today there is an international definition of what a dive watch is. And this watch meets at 300 meter water resistance. It was actually tested by the factory to 375. But with the ability to dive down 1,000 feet, unless you like to jump out of submarines, this watch should be more than enough for you. Now, fit and finish is important in the modern era, and so is comfort. And just as you saw the watch wears comfortably, if large, in the tool watch style, I should emphasize that with a case entirely of brushed titanium that's brushed and matte so it doesn't attract sharks, reflections on a dive watch are a big no-no. But because it is titanium, it wears with moderate weight. It's not a lightweight watch. It's not like a forged carbon Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. But neither is it like one of those big, blocky, Breitling 44, 46, or 48 millimeter references in steel. It's in between those in weight. It's, it, the mass is very manageable, very comfortable. And because of its nicely rounded case back and its short lugs and a sort of pleated accordion style rubber strap, it, it fits very comfortably and close to the wrist. It doesn't pinch skin, it doesn't pinch hair at the lugs and the joint, it sits flat, and my wrist, I would say it's an oval profile, so it's pretty average. My experience is probably going to be representative for most. Now the watch itself features Panerai's caliber P9000. Just as this watch debuted in 2009, so did the caliber P9000. In fact, the 305 was one of the launch platforms for the caliber 9000. Three-day automatic movement, it has plenty of power reserve. This is Panerai's modern pocket watch size movement. Again, since 2005, Panerai's really become more of an upscale watchmaker, producing finer finished cases, thoughtful presentation boxes that really set the industry standard, but most of all, building their own movements. And the Caliber 9000 continues in that tradition. Now you can set it precisely because if you watch the small seconds when I withdraw the crown completely, it hacks. So I can actually stop the balance and set it precisely to a reference time, like an atomic clock, my phone, my computer, swatches, internet time, whatever you like. You can set it to a reference time. Stopping the balance, the hacking, that's a premium feature. It's not universal and it should be. Good job, Panerai, for including it. But this watch also has a couple of other thoughtful features that really make a difference for me. Now, the ability to move the hour hand independently like that, that's great if you're a world traveler and you're jumping time zones. It can actually drive the date both forwards and backwards without damaging the movement. 
So that's a great feature to have, very versatile if you're the type who does a lot of traveling or merely if you aspire to. Now the watch features all of those upscale finishing touches that I mentioned as Panerai has become more of a luxury watch maker. It's built products with commensurate level of finish. If you look at the famous crown protector, a patented device invented by Panerai in the 50s, it's the alternative to a screw down crown, but the subtlety that you might not notice is that compression action, which is actually driven by a roller in the cam of the locking lever. Now, as of the late 2000s, Panerai began including that little roller in there and a sort of spring-loaded compressibility for the crown. So instead of gouging it down every time you close the locking lever, it rolls, it slides, and it compresses. Everything about this watch has that same level of polish to it, from the applied numerals to the beautifully polished skeletonized hands, again, just to minimize glare and reflections underwater. The indexes are perfectly evenly set. The Luminova is beautifully constrained within the frames of the hand frames and the index frames. The brushing across the case is gorgeous, and this watch really wears a treat. I'm going to remove our little protective sticker on the back. We have your best interests in mind, but this movement is too good to miss. Now, what you can see is that Panerai's movement is beautifully straight-grained. The winding rotor is also partially skeletonized, which is a nice touch, because on a lot of automatic movements, you lose the ability to see almost half the mechanism because of, well, let's face it, the obscuring rotor. Not so here. Another nice touch is that Panerai features uh, relatively constrained production, even at this late date. This is one of only 1,000 built for the 2012 model year. This is an O series, so it's a fairly exclusive watch. And if you look at my fingers right here, you can see one of the later 2000 upgrades to the Panerai cases. Recognizing how popular strap swapping is among the Paneristi, these quick release lugs, these are basically not spring pins, but spring lugs. You push down each of these little sort of spring bars in the lug on the underside with the tools that are included with this set and it releases the pin bar that's in the lug so you can swap out this leather strap for the textile contrasting stitch strap that's included. Now there's a universe of Panerai factory and aftermarket straps out there. Everything from textile to Kevlar to Stingray to rubber, and you've got your pick of every color of the rainbow and then some. But the ability to do it at home without engaging a jeweler, to pull it off in 30 seconds if you're sharp with the tools, that's the added value here. And this watch does come with a complete Panerai factory set. Everything that you would receive at the Panerai factory boutique is included with this Panerai Luminor 1950 submersible three days PAM 305. See it with all accessories, including the jeweler's quick change tools on our website, watchyouwant.com. This is a great summer watch. It's early to think about that, but you know what? Make your plans early because it pays to be prepared. It's the Boy Scout motto, and it may as well be the Paneristi motto. If you're that guy who's got 60 accessory straps, you're already ready, but you need a watch. And if you've got the 1950 case, everything will interchange with this lug spacing. So whether this is your first 1950 case or your latest, this is the gateway to strap swapping fun. It is a card-carrying Paneristi favorite, the 305, the definitive modern Luminor Submersible 1950. This is a well-loved reference, and this example from WatchYouWant.com is one of the best I've seen. Check it out on our website, WatchYouWant.com. I'm confident that if you're into a modern Panerai with a big case, a luxury finish, and widespread recognition as an emerging classic, this PAM 305 just might be the watch you want.